HTML working with tables. Using HTML, we can create web pages with the content written in the form of paragraphs or simple text. HTML also offers some advanced features that enable us to display the content in the form of a list, table, etc. List Suppose we want to show the list of subjects offered by an institution or a list of items available in a store. For this, HTML has provided us with list tag. Lists help us to arrange information in an organized way to increase readability and better understanding. A list can be defined in different styles like ordered list, unordered list, definition list, or nested list. Ordered list. An ordered list displays the list of related items in a specific order. It is a container tag which starts with opening OL tag and finishes with closing OL tag. By default, the contents get displayed with a numbered list item. It can be changed to other forms also. Syntax Opening OL tag Closing OL tag LI tag Each list element or item in a list has to be preceded by LI empty tag which stands for list item. Syntax Opening OL tag LI tag Item name Closing OL tag Attributes of OL tag Start This attribute is used to give the starting point of the numbering order of the list. This number should be a positive number. With start attribute, its value must be given in double quotes. For example, start is equal to 101 in double quotes means the ordered list will start from number 101 and will move like 102, 103, etc. Type. This defines the type of numbering style for the ordered list items. Many options are available like series of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, uppercase Roman numbers, lowercase Roman numbers and series of numbers which is the default option. Let us see the use of these attributes in the following program. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, welcome, closing title tag, closing head tag. Body BG color is equal to pink. Font color is equal to white, the days of the week. OL type is equal to lowercase a in double quotes. LI tag Monday, LI tag Tuesday, LI tag Wednesday, LI tag Thursday, LI tag Friday, LI tag Saturday, LI tag Sunday. Closing OL tag Closing font tag, closing body tag, closing HTML tag. Unordered list. This list is a collection of items that are not to be displayed in any special order or sequence. It is a container tag which starts with opening UL tag and finishes with closing UL tag. By default, its contents are shown using the small bullet icon. This style can be changed. Syntax, opening UL tag, closing UL tag. LI tag, each list element or item in a list has to be preceded by LI empty tag, which stands for list item. Syntax, Opening UL tag, LI tag, item name, closing UL tag. 
type attribute. It specifies the type of bullet that can be used with UL tag. Three options are available. Square specifies a filled square bullet. Circle specifies a non-filled circle. Disc specifies a filled circle. Let us see the use of these attributes in the following program. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, welcome, closing title tag, closing head tag. Body BG color is equal to pink. Font color is equal to white, the days of the week. UL type is equal to square in double quotes. LI tag Monday, LI tag Tuesday, LI tag Wednesday, LI tag Thursday, LI tag Friday, LI tag Saturday, LI tag Sunday. Closing UL tag, closing font tag, closing body tag, closing HTML tag. Definition list. A definition list is used to present a list of definitions for items. It is a container tag which starts with opening definition list tag and ends with closing definition list tag. It consists of two elements, DT and DD. The DT element is used to define the definition term part. And the DD element is used for definition description. Let us see the use of these attributes in the following program. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, welcome, closing title tag, closing head tag, body BG color is equal to pink, DL tag, DT tag, input devices, closing DT tag. DD tag, devices to give input values to the computer, closing DD tag. DT tag, output devices, closing DT tag. DD tag, devices to show the result generated by computer, closing DD tag. Closing DL tag, closing body tag, closing HTML tag. Marquee tag. This tag helps to present a scrolling piece of text displayed on the browser. The text can scroll either horizontally across or vertically down the web page. This tag may not be supported by some browsers. This is created by using a container tag, marquee tag. The syntax is opening marquee tag, content, Closing marquee tag. The important attributes used with the marquee tag are Width specifies the width of the marquee, can take up values in pixel or percentage. Height specifies the height of the marquee, can take up values in pixel or percentage. Behavior Specifies the type of scrolling of the marquee. Can have values like scroll, slide and alternate. Scroll delay. Specifies how long to delay between each jump. Can have values like 10 etc. Scroll amount. Specifies the speed of marquee text. Can have values like 10 etc. Loop. Specifies number of times to loop. Default value is infinite. Means marquee loops endlessly. BG color. Specifies background color in terms of color name or hexadecimal value. H space. Specifies horizontal space around the marquee. Can have values in pixel or percentage. V space specifies vertical space around the marquee, can have values in pixel or percentage. Example Marquee 
height is equal to 50, width is equal to 800, direction is equal to right, BG color is equal to yellow. The text will appear as marquee, closing marquee tag. Let us see the use of these attributes in the following program. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, welcome, closing title tag, closing head tag, body tag, marquee, BG color is equal to green, behavior is equal to scroll, direction is equal to right, loop is equal to 2, Scroll delay is equal to 20. This is an example of marquee text. Closing marquee tag. Closing body tag. Closing HTML tag. Open the file marquee.html in any browser and observe the output. Tables in HTML Tables are created to present data in a comprehensive manner, make comparative analysis of data. An HTML table allows the web designer to arrange data into rows and columns. Tables are created using the table tag. Some features of table tag are Each table begins with table tag and ends with closing table tag. Each row begins with opening TR tag which stands for table row and ends with closing TR tag. Rows must be inside the table. Each row contains many columns so each column begins with TH tag which stands for table heading and ends with forward slash TH tag. Column headings must be inside a row. Each column contains data within the cell. So it begins with TD tag, which stands for table data and ends with closing TD tag. Cells must be inside rows. The number of TD tags in a single TR tag defines the number of columns in a single row. Attributes of table tag Border specifies the thickness of the border of a table. Border color specifies the color of table border using color name or code. BG color specifies the background color of the table. Cell padding specifies distance between the edge of cell and its contents in pixels with default value being 1. Cell spacing specifies the minimum distance between adjacent cells in pixels. The default value is 2. Align specifies the alignment of the table on the page. Default value is left. Height specifies the overall height of the table to fit the data in it, in pixel or percent. Width specifies the overall width of the table to fit the data in it in pixel or percent. Now let us create a table to display marks of the students and understand the use of these tags. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, welcome, closing title tag, closing head tag, body, BG color is equal to pink. Caption tag, final result, closing caption tag. Table border is equal to 3. Border color is equal to blue. BG color is equal to yellow. Height is equal to 300. Width is equal to 400. Align is equal to center. TR tag. TH tag. Roll number, closing th tag. th tag, name, closing th tag. th tag, marks, closing th tag. Closing tr tag. tr tag. td tag, 1, 
closing td tag td tag rahul closing td tag td tag 96 closing td tag closing tr tag tr tag td tag 2 closing td tag td tag rajni closing td tag td tag 90 closing td tag closing tr tag closing table tag closing body tag closing html tag hyperlinks in html while surfing the internet we have seen highlighted words or images on the web pages when we click on any of them it takes us to another web page or part these links which take us directly to other pages or even to specific parts of a given page are called hyperlinks. Hyperlinks allow web users to navigate between websites by clicking on text and images. A link is specified using anchor tag A in angle brackets. Anchor tag this tag is used to mark the text as hypertext link to link one page to another. Anything, whether text or image, written between the opening anchor tag and closing anchor tag is used as text of the link. When a user clicks on that link, it will reach to the linked document. Its most important attribute is href, which stands for Hypertext Reference It indicates the link to the address of the destination page. The syntax for anchor tag is Anchor tag href is equal to location Text Closing anchor tag Example Create an HTML page with hyperlink to open the Yahoo home page. Save the file as a yahoo.html html tag head tag title tag welcome closing title tag closing head tag body tag h1 linking to yahoo closing h1 p tag click the following link closing p tag anchor tag href is equal to http www.yahoo.com Welcome to Yahoo! Closing anchor tag Closing body tag Closing html tag Open the file yahoo.html in any browser. The output will be like this. Click on the link to go to Yahoo homepage. We can create two types of links using the anchor tag. External links. These links let us link two different web documents to each other, like we linked yahoo.com to a web page in the previous example. Internal links. These links let us link two different sections of the same page. Image tag. Images are very important to beautify your web page as well as to depict many complex concepts in a simple way on a web page. We can display graphics, drawings, paintings, charts, maps or photographs on a web page with the help of image tag which is an empty tag. Attributes of image tag SRC or source attribute gives image file name in double quotes with complete path. Border makes a border of specified width around the image. Height specifies the height of the image in pixel or as percentage. Width specifies the horizontal width of the image in pixel or percentage. Alt displays alternate text if image cannot be displayed. A line aligns the image either to the left, right, top, bottom or center. We space is for adding space around the top and bottom of the image. 
H space is for adding space around the left and right of the image. Its source attribute gives the exact and complete location of the image file on the disk. Otherwise, the image may not appear on the page. Example, image tag src is equal to location of the image santa.gif in the C drive. Alt is equal to image of Santa hut. If you open this in a web browser, the image will appear.